why don't I start a fire every 10th hit if my main battery has a 10% fire chance? And what does the tier of my ship have to do with how easy it is or isn't to start on fire? Today on Clyde Place, how is fire chance actually calculated in World of Warships? Hello everyone, my name is Clyde and I dug deep into the mechanics and the math formulas that define how fire works in World of Warships to bring you the answer to all of these questions and a few more that you probably didn't even know that you have. In World of Warships, fire is one of two damage over time effects, the other being flooding. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about floods. But straight out of the gate, I just want to tell you that the reason you don't get as many fires as advertised by the base chance of your ordnance is because every ship in the game has a value called a fire resistance coefficient, or an FRC. Some of you probably already knew this, but the details of how it works might still be somewhat mysterious to you. In addition to this, there are buffs and nerfs like signals, upgrades, and commander skills, which affect fire chance as well. And they're all described in a math formula that I'm going to go over later in this video. But first, I want to set the context for that formula. Now, if you don't think that you need this part of the video, you can feel free to skip ahead. The entire video is bookmarked, but that said, I worked really hard on this one, and I think you'll find it informative and hopefully entertaining. Fires have a chance to start when you hit a ship with a high explosive shell from your main or secondary batteries, or from HE bombs or rockets fired from aircraft. When an HE shell hits your ship, it strikes one of four distinct zones which can be set on fire. There's one fore, one aft, and two amidships. This means that a ship can have a maximum of four fires burning at any one time, except for submarines which can only have one fire amidships. The four-point commander skill fire prevention is a very strong choice for a lot of players on a lot of ships, in particular, battleships. This skill merges the two middle zones into one, reducing the number of fires your ship can have to a maximum of three. And it also reduces your risk of catching fire by 10%. More on that when we get to the formula later. Dropping to a max of three fires is important because if a high explosive shell hit would cause a fire, but the area of the ship that it struck was already ablaze, nothing happens. That's a big deal because it means at least for those hits, the fire chance is reduced all the way down to zero when you're already in a pretty bad situation. Once started, fires do damage to your ship based on a fire damage formula. Battleships, cruisers, and destroyers each lose health equal to 0.3% of their total health pool for every second that they let a fire burn. Submarines and aircraft carriers lose 1% health per second. Like the damage percentage, the fire duration is also variable by ship class. Battleships and large cruisers like Stalingrad or Puerto Rico suffer 60 second fires, with cruisers, destroyers, and submarines enduring fires for 30 seconds and aircraft carriers for 5. Given these values, we can calculate the total damage that a given class would take if it allowed a fire to burn for the full duration. One thing to note, in addition to taking damage, fires also increase the detection of your ship by 2 kilometers from sea and by 3 kilometers from the air. Battleship captains should not probably care too much about this, but a destroyer main should take note. There are few things worse for a DD commander than being killed just because you were spotted thanks to being on fire and your DCP was on cooldown. You can reduce the duration of the fires on your ship with the Damage Control System Mod 2 upgrade, the Basics of Survivability Commander Skill, and the India Yankee Signal. These reduce fire duration by 15, 15, and 20% respectively. Note that these do not combine to reduce the fire duration by 50%, rather they're multiplied by the fire duration one at a time in sequence. There's actually a very thorough table that explains all this on the wiki for those who are interested in more details. There's a link in the video description down below. At first glance, the fire chance formula looks fairly complicated. In fact, it looks like this. Upon closer inspection, it's really not that bad. It's really just a system of simple mathematical operations based on concepts that you're already probably very familiar with. The first half of the formula, highlighted here in red, calculates the ship's fire resistance, the target ship's fire resistance. And the second half, highlighted in blue, calculates the fire chance of the projectile fired at the target ship. Once these two values are calculated, we simply multiply them together, and the resulting value is the chance of starting a fire when a given shell hits a given target. The first value that you need is the fire resistance coefficient, or the FRC of your ship. This value is not shown in the game client, but you can find it in a table on the World of Warships wiki. Higher tier ships have a lower FRC than lower tier ships, and that means that they are less likely to start on fire. 
Perhaps more interesting is that ships equipped with their top hull have a better fire resistance than those running their stock hull. So there's even more reason to go for this upgrade first over a fire control system or an engine upgrade than there was already. As a side note, all premium ships are considered to be equipped with their top hull when it comes to establishing their fire resistance coefficient. Next, your ship's FRC is multiplied by 0.95 if you have the damage control system modification 1 upgrade installed. This reduces your FRC by 5%. If you don't have this upgrade installed, your fire resistance coefficient is not reduced. If you have the fire prevention captain skill, your FRC is then multiplied by 0.9, which reduces the value by a further 10%. Now let's pause here to calculate the fire resistance coefficient of a tier 10 American battleship, the Montana. I'll use my own build as an example. Montana's top hull FRC is 0.5. 5005. I do have the damage control systems modification 1 upgrade installed, so we'll multiply that value by 0.95, which brings my FRC down to 0.475475. I also run fire prevention, which reduces my FRC to 0.4279275. Now we're going to put a pin in that value for a minute while we calculate the fire chance of a Nevsky shell that's about to hit my Montana. The base fire chance of a high explosive shell fired from Nevsky is 13%. In my build, I don't run IFHE. If I did, that would reduce my fire chance by half to 6.5%. But since I don't, I don't have to factor in that penalty. I also don't run the demolition expert commander skill on my Nevsky captain. If I did, I'd get to add 1% to the fire chance of my shell, which would bring it up to 14%. Finally, we want to add the sum of all signal effects to the fire chance of the shell. I always run the Victor Lima and the India X-ray signals on my Nevsky, which each raise the fire chance of her 180mm shells by 1%. So we add 2% to the base 13%, and my total fire chance is 15%. Now that we've calculated the Montana's fire resistance coefficient and the Nevsky shell's total fire chance, we simply multiply them together. This results in a total fire chance of 6.42%, which is way lower than the 15% advertised on Nevsky. Interestingly, this same Nevsky shell, fired at a fully upgraded North Carolina with the exact same build as my Montana, would have a fire chance of 8.13%. Against the new American supership USS Mains, Nevsky's effective fire chance would only be 5.57%. This means that Nevsky can improve its fire chance by 2.5% by choosing to attack a tier 8 ship instead of a tier 11 ship. All of this to say is that when it comes to starting fires, you're really better off picking on lower tier ships. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, subscribe, tell a friend, join the Clyde Plays Discord, join us over on Twitch where we do this live three times a week. Be cool, be nice, and we will catch you all in the next one. Oh, I didn't hit stop yet. Where's the... Where's the button?